we desire oh, that we might live by your decree establish righteousness in us that we might live victorious in you you are the holy one you are god's only son your righteousness is pure we are complete in you when we submit to truth your judgments they are sure we desire oh majesty that we might live by your decree establish righteousness in us that we might live victorious in you you are the holy one you are God's only Son. Your righteousness is pure. We are complete in you when we submit to truth. Your judgments, they are sure. We desire, O oh Majesty, that we might live by your decree establish righteousness in us that we might live victorious in you i would Worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you.
Please stand. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us remember we are in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Uh, Deacon Cyril on Monday said something very, very important. He said, be present in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Not just physically. But with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all of our being, let us be present. Let's set aside all anxiety, all worry, all concern, and focus on Him. It's all about our Lord. Not just in the next couple hours, but really 24-7, our whole life. So let us be aware of that, be present, and let us worship Him together. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, 
Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we kneel. Together, most, most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess that, that I have sinned, sinned against, against you in thought, word, word and, and deed, by, by what, what I have done and by what, what I have left undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Spirit. 
Let us pray. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Proclamation of the Word of God from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, beginning in verse 1. Now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the judgments which I am teaching you to perform so that you may live and go in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. You shall not add to the word which I am commanding you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God. destroyed them from among you. But you who held fast to the Lord your God are alive today, every one of you. See, I have taught you statutes and judgments, just as the Lord my God commanded me. Understanding the sight of peoples who will hear who will hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and for what reason as if the Lord our God will never and keep your soul diligently so that you do not forget the things which your eyes have seen and they do not depart from your heart all the days of your life but make them known to your sons and to your grandsons the word of the lord stand for the responsorial psalm, which today is Psalm 15. O Lord, who may abide in your tent, who may dwell on your holy hill, and, and works righteousness, righteousness and, and speaks truth, truth in, in his, his heart. heart. He does not slander with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor nor takes up a reproach against his friend. In, In whose eyes a reprobate is despised, despised but, but who honors, honors those, those who fear the Lord, he, he swears, swears to his own, own heart and, and does, does not, not change. change. He does not put out his money at interest, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken.
please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the letter of St. James, chapter 1, beginning at verse 13. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself does not tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is carried away and enticed by his own lust. Then, when lust is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin is accomplished, it brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. In the exercise of his will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, so that we would be a kind of first fruits among his creatures. The word of the Lord. Please stand. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the hearts. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Lord be on our mind, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark, chapter 7. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are reading from St. Mark's gospel, chapter 7, beginning at verse 14. After Jesus called the crowd to him again, he began saying to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a man which can defile him if it goes into him. But the things which proceed out of the man are what defile the man. If anyone has ear to hear, let him hear. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples questioned him about the parable. And he said to them, Are you so lacking in understanding also? 
Do you not understand that whatever goes into the man from outside cannot defile him because it does not go into his heart but into his stomach and is eliminated? Thus he declared all foods are clean. And he was saying that which proceeds out of the man that, that is what defiles the man. For from within, out of heart, of men proceed the evil thoughts, fornications, <clears throat> thefts, murders, adulteries, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride and foolishness. All these evil things proceed from within and defile the man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today is 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Again, Ordinary Time is time ordained for us to walk in the good works that God has predestined us to walk in. We, we have... A, very important lesson to learn today from the gospel. Tapos na tayo ng five weeks yata tayo sa John chapter 6. Now, now we go back to the gospel of Mark in, in chapter 7 where Jesus confronts the, the hypocrisy of the religious leaders, the Pharisees and the scribes. Because the Pharisees and the scribes were, were like, they're, they're, they were like sticklers for ceremonies and rubrics and rituals and religious observances. Yung binanggit kanina sa pagbasa sa, sa the gospel, the Pharisees were, it, it, like it, it was unacceptable for them to eat without washing their hands, especially when they come from the outside, marketplace or a, anywhere. And they're not talking about hygiene. Hindi sila, ang concern nila hindi yung germs <laughs> o, o virus. Ang concern nila, religious purity. Parang, I don't know if you noticed this, right? Before the, the Eucharist, yung presider magugas ng kamay, di ba? Ceremonial washing. Hindi nyo alam, merong alcohol pa dito sa ilalim <laughs> ng altar. Pang hygiene talaga yun. But, but this is, the, the ceremonial washing is it has a spiritual significance. Binabanggit ng, ng uh, presider, wash me from my iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse me from my sin. Before, you use me to be an instrument through who, whom the, bod, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. Ceremonial yun, religious, spiritual. Uh, but that, that is the concern of the Pharisees. Not hygiene, not uh, MPOX or COVID. No. It's uh, spiritual purity. And there's nothing wrong with that, as we will always say today. There's nothing wrong with that. 
the, the Pharisees, the, the, the name Pharisee originally or, or means holy. When they started the movement, it was originally with a good intention. Holy, and, well, not holy, but separate. Separate, that's the meaning of the word Pharisee, set apart. Which is no different than our calling, right? Come out from among them and be separate. Be holy, be peculiar. peculiar. The holy means set apart, meaning different. Different but not detached. Separate, separate, different from character, you know, unrighteousness versus righteousness. Not detached from the, from the world, from people. See, this was where the Pharisees failed. They fell into the trap of wanting to become the elite and really literally separate from the people. Jesus ministered to the unclean, to the sinners, to the lepers, to the dead. Those, those you know, if you, you touch the dead or touch somebody with, uh, with sickness, you will be ritually unclean for several days. And the Pharisees didn't want that. They wanted to be pure spiritually. So they wouldn't touch, they would not touch a, a leper, a sick person, a dead person, or a sinner with a 10-foot pole. Very unlike the holiness of Jesus. The holiness of Jesus is, I'm pure, but I'm among you as one who serves. You see, God is, Medyo, we will drop up two fancy terms today, okay? God is transcendent and yet imminent. Ano ibig sabihin ng transcendent? He's beyond all things. He's among all things, but he's beyond them. He's outside of our limitations of, of time, space, and matter. He's outside of that. Okay? He's, he's transcendent. He's beyond all this. He's not affected by time, by space, but he's omnipresent. He, and, he per, and, yet, and yet, he's imminent, meaning he's omnipresent. He's present everywhere and, in fact, not just among us, but in us. He pervades everything, every square inch of his universe. So, parang si Jesus, no? Banal, holy, sinless, and yet not intimidated with ministering to those who are sinful. Diba? And sina sinabi ng psalmist, sabi ng David, no evil dwells with you, and yet he's in us. Because that's the only way he could save us from our sins is to be with us. And to work in us. So that's, that's who God is. That's the kind of holiness He, he calls us into. Hindi katulad ng mga pariseyo na banal kami, ibig sabihin, ay hiwalay kami sa inyo. Hindi kami katulad ninyo. Mababa kayo, mataas kami. We're holier than thou. That attitude. And that's what Jesus now confronts. Because again, there's nothing wrong with, with ceremonies and liturgy and bowing and kneeling, raising your hands and jumping. I, I hope I see, could see more of that, actually. Because <laughs> we're, you know, we're the CEC, we're liturgical, evangelical, we're charismatic in expression as well. Be free and, and express your love for God in, in however you will. Kanta natin, di ba? These are expressions of my love. I'll dance for you, sing for you, lift my hands and praise to you. That's good. But Jesus is saying, if you major in that, and you're excellent in that, but you fail in the area of the weightier matters of the law, which is justice and kindness and faithfulness, then you miss the point. You're just another Pharisee, he's saying. Kasi, ano eh, parang, Dito sa loob ng worship hall, ba, banal tayo. Ba? Akulay tayo, ganyan tayo. Di ba? Again, I'm not mocking that, huh? It's good. But that has a purpose. Why do we kneel? Why do we bow when the cross processes? Because we reverence what the cross represents. What does the cross represent? 
The giving of self for the good of another. Bawa ko dyan. Hindi sa metal. Hindi sa, this a physical cross. No, no, no. Bawa ko for what that stands for. I follow that. I respect that. I reverence that. I do that. That's the point. And where do we do that? Not here. Well, sometimes here among our brothers, but more especially Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we live that out. If we don't, Jesus is saying, well then, you're, you know, you praise me with your mouth, but your hearts are far away from me. Jesus ministered to the, fer- to the sinners and the unclean. I've, I've always, you know, mentioned this illustration before. Uh, I, I think it's St. Ambrose who said this. G- God in his immaculate white vestment, sitting on a throne, saw us falling into the mud. Quick sense. Sabihin lang natin, no? Malambot na, na putik. But we, to him, we're like a diamond. You know, a precious stone. And we fell into the mud down to the bottom. What does he do? He doesn't say abracadabra, be, be lifted up, you know, out of the mud. No, no, no. What does he do? He, in his immaculate white vestments, dives into the mud, gets himself dirty, goes down to the bottom of the the mud, picks us up, washes us. Because you know what? In his eyes, we never lose our value. Never lose our value. He made us good. We're not evil, not inherently evil, but nadudungisan tayo. And what he knows to do is cleanse us from our stains. That was, that's what he does. And he has to be with us in order to do that, he has to pay the price of, of and, and be messy. Diba? Diba? Alin ang maglaba ko? <laughs> diba? Makuha ko lang kayo. Because that's, you need saving. And that sometimes is what love is about. It, it comes at a price. It's messy. It's risky. It's Fatal sometimes, it's irritating, it's inconvenient. There's this <clears throat> uh, Belgian priest by the name of Father Damien. Who knows that? Does that ring a bell? Father Damien. In uh, like almost 200 years ago, in the 1800s, he volunteered, he went to his bishop and volunteered to go to Molokai, Hawaii, which was a leper colony. May mga ketong, yung mga tao doon, naka-isolate sila sa isang island. And he believed he was called to minister to them. And his bishop told him, you run the risk of, of contracting the disease yourself. And Damien said, I don't care, it's my calling. Magkasakit, magkasakit. As long as I fulfill, I respond to God's calling. So he did. Uh, eventually, he died of, guess what? Leprosy. But he ministered to the people. He, he built the community. He helped build the community. He built chapels and, and orphanages and, and other things. He helped build uh, water pipes, etc., etc. He became one of them. Hindi siya nandiri. Hindi niya sinabi, hindi pwede. You know, I've, I can preach. Pwede nga online eh, no? <laughs> di ba? Kaya lang, hindi pa uso eh. But <clears throat> that's what he did. That's what it's about. That's what the commandment of God is about. About compassion. What is, again, how do we define love? The desire and the pursuit of the good of another, many times at cost to us. The bigger the cost, the clearer the expression of the love. Kung cheap lang yung binigay natin, hindi, hindi, hindi natin maki, hindi makikita yung laki ng pag-ibig natin para sa pinagbigyan natin, di ba? 
Kaya tayo kung magbibigay ng regalo, wag naman yung hand me down, hindi ba? Wag naman yung natanggap nyo nung Christmas, ayaw ninyo, ito na lang regalo natin sa birthday niya, di ba? Hindi mo natatandaan, siya rin pala yung nagbigay ng regalo sa'yo, no? Bumalik lang sa kanya. <laughs> But, <clears throat> that's what love is. And, <clears throat> I want to contrast love and law. Actually, there should be no contrast because the spirit of the law, at least the law of God, the spirit of the law is love. The Christmas song says His gospel, His law is love and His gospel is peace. The spirit of the law is love for God and love for brothers. So, when we obey the law of God, it should be because we are aware and we value our relationship of love with Him and with our neighbor. Why would, not, why would we not steal from our neighbor? Not because it's a law, not because, sa ibang bansa, puputulin yung kamay mo o makukulong ka, not because of that. Because I love my brother. I respect my brother. Hindi ko siya nanakawan. Hindi ko siya gugulangan. Or, if you're married, you're faithful to your wife, hindi ka mga ngaliwa, dahil mahal mo siya, hindi dahil, ay, pag nahuli ako ng ngaliwa, machichismis ako, mababas ako, at baka makulong pa ako. Ay, ko alam kung anong kaso yun eh. Di ba? Adultery. Not because of those. You, you stay faithful to your wife, to your husband, because you love them. Not because there's a law that says, pag hindi, malal- malilintikan ka. You know, the, it should not be out of fear. Or on the other hand, it should not also be for profit. Ay, lalambingin ko yung asawa ko. O kaya yung tatay ko. Mare, anak ako, lalambingin ko yung tatay ko. Siya sign ko yung sapatos niya. O maglilinis ako ng kwarto ko. Kasi may kailangan ako eh. Di ba? No, you didn't. no, love is never earned. Should not be earned. Love is always given. And we are all called to give that love. And I always say, it's one way. Pag nagbigay tayo ng pag-ibig, walang dapat na inaasahang sukli. Wala. If our love is is experienced by, genuinely experienced by someone, hopefully, they respond. When they respond, it should also be as pure as the love we gave them. Also one way. Bakit niya mako, mamahalin? Bakit niya susuklian yung pagmamahal ko? Hindi dahil gusto niyang wala akong masabi, but because, no, I understand what love is. Love is no strings attached. I love you because I love you. I want your good. Even at my inconvenience. Even if I have to sacrifice. That's the spirit of the law of God. Why? Because the author of the law is love. God is love. So anything He does, everything that proceeds from Him is because He is love. You know, it's sad that Marriage has been reduced to a transaction. In, in, uh, at least in America and in other countries, but in, in, in the U.S., they have what is called the prenup. Iba yung prenup dito, yung prenup dito, picture taking. Eh, diba? pag, pag sinab- pag sinab- prenup is prenuptial agreement. Meaning, lalo na sa mga mayayaman, yung pera ko, mara ako yung lalaki, no? yung pera ko, pera ko lang. Yung babae naman, yung pera ko, pera ko rin lang. Kahit mag-asawa na tayo, walang conjugal-conjugal uh, ownership dito, no? O sharing of ownership. Hindi. Lalo na kung marami kong pera, di ba? Yun ang prenuptial agreement. But it became a transaction. It's sad. When originally, the vows, and we used this before in Old English, When, when the husband and wife vowed, originally it was the, just the, the, the groom that says this, but eventually became the groom and the, the bride's vow 
they would each say to the other, with my body, I the worship. Si Pinya, no? Parang idolatry, no? Worship. That's the word. Ibig sabihin nun, I value you. With all of my possessions. Kung ano yung akin, sa'yo rin. And I will spend everything to please you. With my body, I the worship. With my with my worldly, uh, with my earthly goods, I the endow. Tatawa nga ako minsan eh, dahil merong isang nagsabi, with my body, I the worship. <laughs> Now, body, with my body, not, not my friend. No? <clears throat> But <clears throat> that's the, the vow. That was the vow. And that's what marriage is about. In fact, that's what every Christian relationship should be. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And your neighbor as yourself. How much do you love yourself? How much do you spend on yourself? How much time do you spend in front of the mirror? Women, how much? Answer that. Not as, you know, men, not as much, right? But women, diba, pag merong picture, group picture, sino ang unang-unang tinitignan natin? Sarili natin, di ba? Pangalawa yung crush natin. Di ba? Pero ako muna, ano itsura ko? Malapad ba yung mukha ko? Maayos ba yung buhok ko? Etc., etc. But that's what the law is about. And observance of the law is not merely just complying. To appear obedient or holy to people. No, no, no. Understand what the purpose of the law is and the spirit of the law is. Jesus, St. Paul says in Ephesians, gave himself up for us because he loved us. Not because his, his dad was angry at us and he was trying to appease his anger. No, no. We're not, he's, he didn't do that for anything else, for any other reason but love. Because that's the spirit of the law. God so loved the world, not hated the world because they're sinful. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Not because He's full of wrath, but because He's full of love. So that's the spirit of the law. So the law is good. The law is really good. It keeps us from, or seeks to keep us from sin because sin is a threat to a good relationship with God and with our neighbor. Okay, that's the purpose of the law. To keep us from sinning because sin is detrimental to the health of the relationship. Not because it's a legal problem. Okay, because it's, it's a threat to the relationship. It there, the purpose also of the law is to mold us into the likeness and the holiness of God. God doesn't kill. God doesn't lie. God is faithful. That's why we should be too. That's what the law is there for. Again, if we merely legalistically comply, we miss the point. Okay, we miss the point. The law was made for man, not man for the law. Just like the Sabbath was, not, Sabbath was made for man, for the good of man, not for his inconvenience or his uh, bondage. So, it's a gospel. Sabi ni Jesus, you know what? Food doesn't defile you. Clean or unclean. It, it doesn't defile you. What goes into your body doesn't defile you. Spiritually, anyway. But, what comes out of your heart through your mouth, that's what defiles. The, the anger, the bitterness, the, the jealousy, the, the hatred, you know, the, the destruction of one another, the slander, that's what this, the defiles a man. The real meaning of defile, see, look at defile, uh, 
in this definition. To make unholy. Okay? To make unholy. So, ibig sabihin, to be the opposite of God. Because God is holy. To make unholy. That's what defile means. Not observing externals doesn't defile a man. Ungodly character does. Makes him unholy. Okay? So again, what's detrimental to our relationship with God and man is what proceeds from our mouth, out of our heart. Our judgmentalism, our lust, our envy, our divisions, etc., etc. So in St. Paul, in 1 Corinthians, he said, food will not affect our relationship with God. We are no worse off if we eat and no better off if we don't eat, whether clean or unclean food. But if you read on in that chapter, the context, the emphasis is on building up our brother and avoiding stum making them stumble. Again, concern for them, compassion for them, love for them. That's the point. So Jesus is saying be concerned not with religiosity, not with pietism, not with the, uh, the, the appearance or the form of godliness, but purity of heart. Guard your heart because from it flow the issues, the springs of life. Guard it. The springs of life flow from it. So, I, you know, it's always a good time for spring cleaning. Kahit hindi spring, kahit hindi natin naintindihan kung ano yung season na spring. No? But, but clean the springs uh, that flow from our heart. Jesus did not say, this is my commandment. Wash your hands, bow, genuflect before you go to your seat. You know, make the sign of the cross whenever the Trinity is mentioned. No, no, no. He said, this is my commandment. Love one another. Love one another. And those things, bowing and crossing ourselves, they're supposed to remind us of the true commandment, the weightier matters of the law, which is love one another. Love God and your neighbor as yourself. Again, these things, not wrong. These practices, not wrong. They're good. They're good if we understand and observe what they represent. That is reverence and love for God and for our neighbor. And that should translate in our everyday lives because it's the way it is in the kingdom of our God. So now I'll stand. Let us confess together the Nicene Creed. Together, we believe, we believe in, in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, and we believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
we acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dearly beloved brethren, the Lord our God is near to us whenever we call upon Him. Let us pray for the, for the witness of the church that we may live as testimonies of God. Grant unto your church, O Lord, the bold proclamation of your faithfulness and your provision. Grant unto us the bold proclamation of your love for all men. Grant unto your church the bold proclamation of your righteousness and your truth. Grant unto us the bold proclamation of your salvation and your peace. Grant unto your church the bold proclamation of your forgiveness of sin. Grant unto us the bold proclamation of your sovereignty over all. Grant unto your church the bold proclamation of the sanctity of all life. Grant unto us the bold proclamation of your compassion toward the weak and helpless. Grant unto your church the bold proclamation of the power of your word. Grant unto us the bold proclamation of your power to heal. We pray for your divine healing for Gloria, Tess, Charmaine, Grace, Mitz, Kenneth, Maria Loreto, Fer, Bergedi, Kari, Christine Ann and Lucas, Edith, Light, Nelia, Maricel, Romulo, Peter, Valentin, Cynthia, James and Roxy, Dino, Annalise, Junicio, Tiana Aros, Amber, Thea Katrina, Deacon Roland, Mark, Michel, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant unto your church the bold proclamation of your greatness. Grant unto us our corporate petition. Together, Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King, our dwelling place in all generations, generations owner, owner of, of the earth, earth and all it contains, contains. Grant, grant unto us our allotted inheritance, we pray, and, and the, the grace, grace to build upon it, it facilities in which your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. At this point, I would like for you, as led by Father Dino, who I would ask to come forward, for you to pray for us, delegation that will go to Cebu this week for the liturgical summit, which will be on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And also, before that, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday, we will meet as the House of Bishops. In this particular meeting, in this particular meeting, we will pray for a consensus, an agreement on a name to be nominated as the next primate of the Philippines, okay, the territory of the Philippines. Matatandaan nyo sa history natin, 11 years ago, 11 years ago, uh, the, the then primate retired. After five years, we had another primate who after two years did not retire but expired. <laughs> Namatay siya in 2020, no? And then, it's been four years now, we still haven't, ha, don't have a primate. But uh, all those years, isipin nyo, no? 11 years, two years nung dami primate. But, but the, the, the vacant years actually, uh, the patriarch acted as primate. But <clears throat> pray, okay? Pray for us that there would not be politics in our hearts, that there would not be ambition, but that we would only want what God wants. That's our only agenda. So may we, because we're human too, right? Set aside ambition or whatever, the, the, the lust for whatever it is, or glamour or glory, because all glory is supposed to be God's, okay? But, but pray for us. So Cebu delegation, ilang ba tayo dito? Can you come forward?
because the people will pray for us. Everyone who's, go who's going, come. Okay, Father Dino, if you would please pray for us. And all of you, the rest of you, <laughs> you extend your hands as you, you pray for us. Extend your hands towards us. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this. Truly, this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, as you have been so faithful to the charismatic Episcopal Church all these years. Father, that you will lead men and women towards your will, Lord. We pray for this event that is uh, about to transpire this week for the, the bishops as they uh, convene together and also the delegation that will be in the summit for liturgy and worship. Father, our prayer is that they would truly have the mind of, of Christ, that they will be sensitive to the spirit, Lord, and that the, we, uh, you will raise up prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers uh, that, that will truly uh, pave the way for a greater, as we go forth, as had been directed to us in the Convocation 2023. We thank you, Father, for the boldness uh, of, the, of the delegation to truly seek out your ways and your word, Lord. Father, may the word of God be illumined in their minds and hearts, Lord. And Father, we thank you for your faithfulness, knowing that as we look forward to a greater, greater years ahead, Lord, for CEC, we thank you, Father, for your blessings, Lord. We thank you, Father, for truly protection also for the entire delegation as they go forth. We thank you, Father. We bless you and we thank you through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I, I, I encourage you to make that commitment to pray <coughs> every day, starting tomorrow. We believe in the power of prayer, to truly pray for them and be one with them, even though we are not there physically, but we are there one with them, knowing that this is going to be a new, a dawning of a new uh, time for us as CEC Philippines. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. <coughs> continue in our prayer. Grant us grace, O Lord, to guard our hearts, that we may live lives pleasing unto you. We ask this in the name of Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Now, not because I said this, but because you really want to share the peace of Christ, share it. Share the peace of Christ with your brothers and sisters around you.
God is good. All the time. And we are thankful. All the time. Okay, listen. Listen. Give your tithe. Give your offerings. Not because the bishop said it, but because you walk in love. Amen. And in obedience to our God. With the desire to be like Him, holy, righteous, kind, generous, peaceful, loving. Okay, Ben? Amen. Don't be forced. Okay? <clears throat> Do it from your heart. Let it proceed from your heart and give it. Amen? Amen. Again, let's do that for the glory of God our Father. I will praise you, Lord, every day of my life. I will give thanks to you, for you are worthy of praise. May my life be fragrant, aroma before you. May I walk in the manner worthy of you. I will praise you, Lord, as I fulfill my vows. I will worship you as I walk in your ways. May my life be Aroma before you, may I walk in a manner worthy of you. I will praise you, Lord, every day of my life. I will give thanks to you, for you are worthy of praise. May my life be fragrant. Aroma I walk in a manner worthy of you. I will praise you, Lord, as I will fill my vows. I will worship you as I walk in your ways. May my life be fragrant, aroma before you. May I walk in a manner Worthy of you With all my heart I will follow after you With all my heart I will praise you, O oh Lord With all the strength that you have given me I'll not be led astray With all my heart I will walk in your way Lord, be led astray with all my heart. I will walk in your way. With our lips, let us sing one confession. With our hearts all to one true the Lord. For He has erased our transgressions, named us and called us His own, His very own. We're the people of God, called by His name, set free from sin and delivered from shame. One holy everyone because of the blood of Christ Jesus the Son now we proclaim we are victors set free by God's mighty hand we are his servants virgin 
is with scars bought by the blood of the lamb blood of the lamb we're the people of god called by his name set free from sin and delivered from shame one holy race saints everyone because of the blood of Christ, Jesus the Son. With our lips let us sing one confession. With our hearts all to one truth alone. For he has who raised our transgressions, named us and called us his own. His very own. Will the people of God hold by His name, set free from sin and delivered from shame? One holy name, saints everyone, because of the blood of Christ, Jesus the Son. Will the people of sin and delivered from shame one holy faith saves everyone because of the blood of Christ Jesus the Son praise the Lord thank you Lord for your grace that made us worthy to be called your children your people Lord and as your people, we stand before your presence, giving you praise, Lord, expressing our need of you, expressing our need for your guidance, so that our praise to you may reflect to the way we talk, the way we act, the way we treat other people. Consume us from the inside out, Lord. We praise you. Praise your name. Thousand times I fail, still your mercy remains. Should I stumble again, still I'm caught in your face, and the last day your light will shine bright. My heart and my soul, 
stumbled many times spiritually Lord but whenever we come to you you do not reject us Lord instead you show us that even though we fail your mercies never will Lord your love is everlasting Lord we praise you we continue to praise you this morning
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We bring these signs and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us, and for the furthering of your kingdom.
Brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. Father all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, all things are of your making. All times and seasons obey your laws. But you chose to create man in your own image, setting him over the whole world in all its wonder. You made man the steward of creation to praise you day by day for the marvels of your wisdom and power. And so we worship you, Lord, with all the angels in their song of joy. Father, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Please kneel. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for your consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, whose death has reconciled us unto yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you and enable us to share in the inheritance of your saints with Blessed Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Strengthen in faith your church on earth, along with Craig, our patriarch, me, your unworthy servant, and all the bishops, with the clergy and the entire people, your son has gained for you. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world through Jesus Christ, our Lord, from whom all good things come. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ taught us, we are bold to pray. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw, araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala. Para ng pagpapatawad na hamin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Sapagkat sa'yo ang kaharian, kapangyarihan, kaluwalhatian. Ngayon at kailanman Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us eat the feast. Hallelujah. gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you and feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving.
day. Try me, O oh Savior, know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. I praise thee, Lord, for cleansing me from sin. Fulfill my word and Make me pure within. Fill me with fire where once I burned with shame. Grant my desire to magnify thy name. Lord, take my life and make it wholly thine. Fill my poor heart and great love divine. Take all my will my passion, self, and pride. I now surrender, Lord, in me abide. O oh, Holy Ghost, revival comes from Thee. Send a revival, start the work in me. Thy word declares, thou wilt supply our needs. For blessing now, O Lord, I humbly plead. Search me, O God, and know my heart today. Try me, O Savior, know my thoughts, I pray. See if there be some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. I praise thee, Lord for cleansing me from sin. Fulfill thy word and make me pure within. Fill me with fire where once I burned with shame. Grant my desire to magnify thy name. Lord, take my life and make it wholly thine. Fill my poor heart with thy great love divine take all my will my passion self and pride 
I now surrender, Lord, in me. Many of us have known God and have walked with him for many years, decades even. And although we have experienced and gone through trials and, and testings and storms and challenges, if we look back, honestly evaluate the life we have spent with God, I believe all of us would have at least many reasons you know, I can describe that many reasons to thank God for because he is faithful great is his faithfulness we can focus on the on the bad and the truth is though the good that he has given us he's brought us is far greater than what we complain about. So let us understand God has been faithful and His faithfulness is great. Let us sing of that faithfulness to Him. Direct your song to Him. Okay? It's, direct your song to Him. Cause, cause he, address it to Him because he's, he's the reason we're singing this song. Okay? Understand that. So worship Him. Sing this song to Him out of a heart that is genuinely thankful. For his goodness, for his kindness, for his mercy, for his grace, and his faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow turning with thee. Changes not thy compassion, 
God is. And may we respond, not because we feel we have to, because we need to earn something. We cannot earn His love. His love is free. It's by grace He gave it to us. It's His nature. He cannot help but love us. Cannot help. Cannot go against His nature. And all we, you know, all that is left for us to do is give Him thanks. Now, we can express that thanks in a shallow manner, just by words, or we can choose to really express the value that we ascribe to Him, the appreciation that we ascribe to Him. Again, remember, love costs us, always comes at a price. 
always. The greater the price, the, the greater the expression of the love. The smaller the price we pay, eh, you know, the, the, the little, the, the more little the value is seen. So let us, let us express our thanksgiving to Him. Again, not because of a requirement, but because we understand His love. And we, we are reminded we have been created in that same likeness. Okay? Actually, if we don't love, we go against our divine nature, that we, the divine nature that we partake of. So understand that. You have been created good. You were created good, not evil. You were not born evil. You were created good. Ah, you were just afflicted with this, this disease called sin. But God is at work in you and is cleansing you of that and healing you. Understand that. Your true nature is the nature of God. It's natural. It should be natural for us to love as He loves. So understand that. Again, with the desire to give Him glory, to give Him thanks, and to make Him known to everyone. Great is our God, and He is good. Amen? God good to you? Pakisabi sa katabi niyo, God's good to me. How about you? God is good all the time. All the time. Thanks be to God for that. Now let us pray. Together, eternal God, God, God heavenly, heavenly Father, Father you have graciously accepted us as, as living members, members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now to the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Again, as you go out from this place, always remember the gospel that God was in Christ Jesus reconciling the world to himself, not counting men's sins against them. Why? Because God loves you. God has forgiven you. God is not angry at you, and God will never leave you nor forsake you. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. God guides, He provides. He's very good to me. Where God guides, He provides. His mercies I see. Where God guides, He provides. He's very good to me. Where God guides, He provides. His mercies I see. Where God guides, He provides. very good to me where God guides he provides his mercies I see go forth to the busy world go to the mountain to the darkest
darkest town in the broken parts and places go forth i am with you fear not i will cover you for i am your god and you are mine and you are Please remain in your seat after the dismissal for some announcement. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Go forth to the busy world. Go the mountains go forth to the darkest town in the broken parts and places go forth I am with you fear not I will cover you for I am your God and you are mine You are mine.